Well, it's, uh, it's 2012 and you woke up in intense pain. Yes. So tell us what happened from there. Um, I'd had breast surgery and basically um, after having children, you know, I had the loose skin. So I decided to try and get them fixed. Um, I had just went in for regular implant changes and I woke up and my breasts were literally the size of my head. They, and they would not stop growing. So, and then it started to bleed? Um, basically, I had um, a, a hole on my left side of my breast and I wasn't sure what the hole was there for. There was sort of gunk, so I knew there was some sort of infection. Um, I woke up the next day in a pool of blunky, goody, gunky water and I knew it. It must be it. so frightening for you to sort of wake up and, and see that. And you went straight to the hospital and they yeah. said that they'd have to remove the implants. But actually, that was the least of your worries by then because they found under the muscle uh, a blood clot. Yeah. Um, obviously, when I was under anaesthetic, they removed the implants and basically I, they found a blood clot and I started to bleed to death. I actually lost um, six pints of blood and you've only got 12 oh, in your body. Gosh. So I had to have an emergency blood transfusion. And so once wow. you'd wow. recovered from that operation, what were you left with? <clears throat> um, basically just sagging skin, really. I'd had to have a lot of breast tissue removed because of the infection. So how did you feel seeing oh, this? It was, it was just horrible. It was just... You know, I couldn't believe what I'd ha actually done to my body, and not only that, I, you know, I was lucky to be alive. It had a lives. huge effect on your confidence, on your relationship, on yeah. everything, didn't it? I was, you know, I'd got, I'd wanted to better myself to make me more confident, and I'd gone from that to not having any confidence at all. Do you wish if you could go back in time, and obviously hindsight is a wonderful thing, would you wish you'd never started yeah. it? I really do. I really wish that, you know, I would have waited till I was a lot older, a lot more mature, maybe till I'd, after I'd had all my children, to then decide and well, not only natural's better. <laughs> not only going through all of that, uh, everything that you've described, um, people online, newspapers were particularly cruel as well, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they were, um, I'm sorry, they, um, they used to say, really really nasty things and nobody really understood what I'd gone through and you know there was there was pictures of me on holiday and I, even me when I look at them and they were disgusting the pictures uh, so they were calling me Madge from Benidorm and I know it's it's funny now to you know it's not funny now no, actually it's, it's just not funny it's just it's really cruel. it is it's really cruel and there's so many trolls out there that mm. be mean to people they just don't understand how it made me feel at that time.